imperative sentences. So this is a quiz on direct and indirect speech imperative sentences. If you've not uh, seen the video lecture yet, you subscribe my channel that is Learn English with Supreet and herein you can find this video on direct and indirect speech. So you just go through that in case you like you miss some information or miss some uh, rules related to direct indirect speech. So let's get started. The first question we have over here is they said to Rihan, you should not go out now as it may start raining any time. Now see in this, uh, first of all, first thing that you need to notice is the tense of the reported portion. They said to Rihan is a reported portion and this is reported speech, which I am underlining now. Now, second thing that you need to notice is what kind of sentence it is. What kind of sentence it is. You should not go out now as it may start raining anytime. This is a, you know, this is a kind of suggestion. This is a kind of suggestion. You should not go out now. As it may start raining anytime and it may start raining. Why he shouldn't go out? Because, you know, uh, the other person is giving, uh, you know, Rihan a warning that, it may start raining anytime you, you you'll get wet or you you'll get drenched so you don't go out so this particular sentence when we are to convert it into indirect speech it can be converted you know in all these three ways in all these three ways which I've suggested you know over here first second and third so the right option over here is all of the above why so first one so you see advised and suggested they are synonyms they are synonyms. So both the options are correct. They advise Rihan. And in these cases, one thing that you, know, uh, you need to notice over here is that we are not using any conjunction here. Conjunction, you understand? We are not using that or something like that. We are not using anything. They advise Rihan not to go out then and further warn that it might start raining any time. And next way of writing it, you see, they forbade Rihan. Now you need not add not over here. Reason being forbade, you know, it is also for, you know, this already includes no in it. So you need not add, you know, not again. They forbade Rihan to do what? To go out. Then and further warned him that it might start raining anytime. And in case you, you've gone through the video lecture on this direct and direct speech, then you can notice that this now changes to, this now changes to then. When we convert now from direct to indirect speech, now changes to then. And the last one suggested it is all similar and the all of the above. This is the right option over here. So this is how it is to be done. I've already shared it in the group so that you can have information on uh, this. And you know that the right answer, which I've already cleared you that all of the above, that is fourth option is the right answer. Okay, now first one and the next one I'm moving to. Uh, now see the next one goes like, they said to Rihan, you are to go out of the room. They said to Rihan, you are to go out of the room. Now again, notice, notice the undertone, notice, you know, the expression in the sentence, you are to go out. You know, this sentence is expressing a command, an order, an order. So imperative sentences, as I told you all already, they express, you know, commands, they express, uh, you know, uh, uh, forbiddings, advices, and at the same time, requests. So it is a command. So let's have our options. The same way it will be coming in your uh, finals uh, also. So these are our options. So let's read the options now. First one is they ordered Rihan that he should go out of the room. Now this one is wrong. Why it is wrong? Because you know, when it was an order, it shouldn't be done. It is to be done. It must be done. Next one is they ordered Rihan to go out of the room. It is correct. They ordered Rihan that he is to go out. This is again wrong. And none of the, this, this option is again wrong. So second option is the correct option over here that they, they ordered Rihan to go out of the room. Now notice that this sentence also I've not used any conjunction, but I've joined this sentence using the word to. So this is how it is to be done. And now see the right option over here we have is the second, second option. Moving to the third question. Now third question when you notice 
in the third question you see please arrange please arrange dinner at your place please arrange dinner at your place this word please it is confirming that it is a request it's a request so now let's have our options and uh, i know that many of you were able to tick the right option over here the first one says they suggested they suggested rehan to arrange dinner at his place they requested rehan to arrange dinner at their place they requested rehan to arrange dinner at his place or none of the, none of the above now second and third options seem correct but out of these two one option is correct other is incorrect now this option is incorrect because of this there and this option is correct because of his now you need to notice over here that even you know the change in the pronouns is to be change in the pronouns that happens when you change from direct to indirect speech it should also be you know noticed it should it, it should also be taken care of now because rehan who is you over here who is the second person over here rehan now see they is the first person over the one who are talking basically and rehan is the one who who was being addressed who was being addressed so whenever this uh, you know it it comes in the reported portion it will be addressing itself as you it will be addressed as you know second case that is you or you know all pronouns related to you and this the subject of the reported portion the subject of this is the subject of the reported portion this is the object the subject of the reported portion will always use the first person for it that is i or we however the second the object would be using the second person for it that is you and all related pronouns so that is why third option is correct because we were referring to rehan but yes because for the, for us they are third person so that is why he is is being used over here for this person i hope i'm clear now i'm moving to the next part next question fourth question they said to rehan you should wear a mask regularly now see you should wear a mask regularly you all can notice we use should we use should to suggest something to suggest something to advise something now it is like if i advise you that you should wear a mask regularly it's kind of advice it is up to you whether you follow it whether you observe that or not it is up to you i'm not forcing you to do it so you should wear a mask regularly this sentence is expressing a suggestion now let's have our options the first one is they suggested rehan to wear a mask regularly they suggested rehan that he should wear a mask regularly they advised rehan to wear a mask regularly all the options are correct all the options are correct so fourth is the right answer why all the options are correct because all the options are conveying the same thing we can use suggested we can go with again suggested and we can also use that in you know all those sentences which express an advice like we've used here that in this manner also it is correct that you you know you don't use this you directly jump to the helping verb and the main verb you directly go to that and the other option is that you use that and you change all the pronouns in all uh, you know the uh, both the uh, both ways it is correct so fourth one is the right option that is all of the above now next fifth one don't run on the floor don't run on the wet floor now see don't the sentences that start with don't the sentences that start with don't are known as the sentences are known as imperative sentences they express forbiddings forbiddings means to say that kisi ko koi kaam karne ke liye aap agar mana karo to that that uh, you know those are called forbiddings so now we know that you know they have forbidden rehan rehan is being forbidden usko roka gaya rehan ko koi kaam karne ke liye now let's have our options now one thing that you notice over here is whenever you change this said to you notice this this whatever like you, even if you are using advise over here suggest over here order or command or you know forbid or forbidding or whatsoever what you need to do is you want to use the second form of verb like said to when it is an advice the sentence is expressing an advice said to is to be changed to advised or suggest or suggested in case of order it is to be changed to ordered not order not order so that is why you know we've used forbade forbade is the second second form of verb of forbid 
forbid is the present and this is the past form of verb of forbid that is forbid now they forbade rehan not to run on the wet floor this is wrong because this forbade already has not in it so this not is not required they forbade rehan that he should not run on the wet floor this is again wrong you know forbidding it doesn't doesn't include should they forbade rehan to run on the wet floor this option is correct so third is the right option in this sentence they forbade rehan now next one moving to the next one that is the sixth one and now see in the sixth one kindly keep the door ajar ajar means to say kisi cheez ko thoda sa khula rakhna kindly keep the door ajar now this word kindly it expresses again what a request so this is expressing a request so now let's have our options and i know many of you were able to tick the correct option and now see they requested rehan they requested rehan to keep the door ajar they requested rehan that he should keep the door ajar they requested rehan that the doors be kept ajar all of the above the right option is this one first one they requested rehan to keep the doors ajar so answer i hope you have already ticked the right option now next one in the next one you see we have they said to rehan keep to the left now keep to the left you know uh, uh, you know often we are said that you keep to the left it is an order it must be followed you know if it is coming from our parents or our friends then it is an advice and you know uh, this way it changes it may be taken as an order also or an advice also provided we know from where it is coming it is coming from somebody like you know school authorities or say somebody who's your in charge your teacher or whatsoever then it's a command and like if it is coming from your friends and all that then it can be a suggestion also obviously you keep to the left then you are safe in case you don't keep to the left then you are not safe and now see they requested rehan to keep to the left they requested rehan to keep to the left they ordered rehan to keep to the left they advised rehan that he should keep to the left or all of the above these are your options and now in this sentence as i told you it can it can it can be a request from you know you can say that you know your elderly or your friends and all that and it can be an order from your you know elders from, from you know the ones who are older than you and it can be advice from your friends also so all these options are there and the right option over here is they advised rehan that he should keep to the left third option is the right option they advised rehan that he should keep to the left but here in i would be telling you something more on this that even if you written they ordered rehan to keep to the left even then your sentence is correct if you have ticked this option that is the second option they ordered rehan to keep to the left this is also correct they requested rehan to keep to the left this option is also correct it depends on the undertone undertone you understanding it depends ki kaise wo koi person jo hai us cheez ko bol raha hai and us person ke sath you know what is your relation that is why i'm telling you in case it is coming from you know uh, your friend and it can be an advice or it can be a request also in case it is coming from you know your teacher or something like that you ones who are you know authorities then it is an order So it can be written in any way. So here in those options and all that which I have ticked, I have ticked according to me. In case you have ticked the first option, that's again correct. It depends on the undertone, the way you express it. You know what intentions you have behind that. It depends on that. Now the eighth one we are going to discuss. Eighth one, it goes like. please don't reveal this to anyone and now usage of please it you know it simply tells us that it is a request it's a request so now let's have our options they requested rehan not to reveal that to anyone now see you must have noticed that this this changed to that this changes to uh, uh, changes to that when it is converted from direct to indirect speech now let's consider these options they requested rehan not to reveal that to anyone 
They requested Rehan to reveal that to anyone. This option is incorrect. They suggested Rehan to reveal that to anyone. Incorrect. And again, this incorrect. The first option is the correct option over here. First option is the correct option. Now that's it in this. And uh, for more such lessons, you visit my you, you visit my YouTube channel that is Learn English with Supri, and you can watch a video on direct indirect speech uh, you know over there, and then I'll be sharing more you know such questions for you to solve.